Welcome back to ARBC Summit. We're here in the UAE in Dubai and joining me now I have Pavel, who's Chief Strategy Officer at Todd Labs. And we're talking today about Freeton. So Pavel, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Very, no problem at all. And you've got a very buzzing booth behind you. Very busy, a lot of conversations to be had. So you must be very happy at the outcome. Sure, it's great. It's great to see all those people uh, walking around asking many, very interesting questions. Yeah, and a lot of questions that they're asking and that I'm hearing is about Freeton uh, and talking about Freeton, which is what you're you're sharing your insights on today. So for our viewers that are at home that can't be here in person, can you share a bit more information? What is Freeton to start with? Yes, uh, sure. So uh, actually Freeton is uh, the fastest in the world uh, platform for uh, smart contract execution. So uh, we call it fastest uh, blockchain, but uh, and um, it is not only um, uh, 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 blockchain itself, uh, uh, because it's also on top of uh, blockchain with the only um, dynamic sharding uh, in the world. Uh, it also has a uh, operating system, which makes uh, interaction with blockchain uh, very easy for all developers. And also the only uh, platform which uh, develops a vision of fully end-to-end -end decentralized applications which can, you can download into browser from blockchain itself. So we don't need any hosting. And we actually call this concept web three versus web three. Because we see a web three as a, just an MVP of decentralization where you nail uh, working with uh, blockchain to some centralized hosting website. Okay, fantastic. So for some of the viewers that are at home that may be list, uh, listening and and they do want to get involved. What's the process of acquiring some of the, the tokens or some Freeton? Yeah, Freeton uh, is uh, the uh, the only uh, proof of stake uh, blockchain which launched without any ICO, without any token sale, uh, and which is a challenge itself uh, because uh, proof of stake uh, blockchain proof of stake consensus is uh, relies on value of stakes. Uh, and how we solved it, uh, so initially there were 23 members which uh, launched the network almost a year ago and uh, we distributed tokens through a concept called meritocratic token distribution, which involved a contest where we invited everyone uh, to participate, to write actually contests, to participate in contests, to uh, get rewards as a result, and also we uh, invited partners with user base, with use cases, to also uh, uh, do a cooperation and get their tokens as well. So we did, I think, quite successful in that aspect because we started from zero, uh, for like zero tokens uh, circulating, and now we have already distributed uh, more than uh, half a billion uh, tokens. Uh, we think it's an amazing result, and, and it, it really proves that uh, the state blockchain a large project and be launched in that way. And what kind of feedback have you received from the local community when it comes to Freeton? Oh, I think uh, people, uh, when you explain to people the old products of Freeton, people are amazed because uh, we, it is uh, fully community driven. So we uh, not only uh, uh, have one uh, governance of Freeton, we have also 25 different sub governances, which actually group of people which specialized on uh, different directions. Some of them uh, do DeFi, some of them do development experience. Uh, there are also some national ones like Korean, uh, Mexican, France. Uh, and uh, those uh, communities, they were self-organized. So people come together, say, said like, okay, well, we will we would like to follow that direction. They got, uh, tokens from, from community and they run their own contests. So it, I think it is, it is very important and, and we uh, see that, again, we are the only uh, platform which uh, follow that way. So we are, we are the only platform which experiments because it's, it's quite painful uh, when you think about uh, that type of uh, just taking people out of the street uh, for your community and uh, giving them some ability to, to vote, to uh, distribute tokens, of course, there could be uh, some uh, some abuse of that uh, process and of course there were some conflicts uh, because people who uh, judge uh, those contests, it's not, there are no foundation, there are no any 
uh, <laughs> about a single person which judge that. A jury is also uh, selected by uh, from, from from the community based on their uh, submissions. And when you think that you don't know who are the who are all those people, so uh, of course it's to be challenging to uh, have uh, such uh, certified governance process uh, going forward uh, without some I don't know somebody uh, without any concept of enforcement, without any concept of centralized authority looking after uh, all those guys. So this is quite challenging. So then when it comes to future plans that you have for the rest of the year and also moving forward, what is in store? Um, you know, that's uh, the beauty of Freeton. It's not, there are no entity, there are no foundation which uh, can uh, plans for uh, and, and say we are going that direction. All those 25 stop downs, they have their own uh, plans, agenda, which they discuss internally. So, for example, there is Freton Academy uh, guy, who, who one of the leaders of uh, Freton Academy. And, and, and uh, just knew an hour ago what they're going to do, and I didn't follow uh, what they're doing. And, and he said that uh, they have, uh, they, they will launch uh, like in a couple of weeks, uh, all kind of courses. The, uh, uh, education courses for uh, Freeton. Uh, so DeFi, uh, Subgovernance actually launched a uh, large uh, infrastructure. So they launched Bridge for Ethereum. They now launch launching uh, DEXs, farming. Uh, they say that they would like to invite other proto big protocols, DeFi protocols to come to Freeton. Uh, on developer experience, we have extreme uh, Development in zero knowledge proofs. Uh, we uh, launched a number of contests, one of, for testing of our new uh, zero knowledge proofs uh, primitives in, in virtual machine to test them. Then we also would la we also launched the contest, first stage of contest, Zcash on, on Freeton. Then, uh, as far as I know from uh, people who are drafting that, uh, they will uh, launch contest for implementation of Mina over Freeton, Filecoin over Freeton, because again, we have everything which is there. Uh, so again, and I know, I, I get information from uh, some balances. It's not like uh, somebody uh, writing that plan. So the, but my, my personal focus is actually to um, uh, launch uh, large use cases, because uh, Freeton, due to multi threading, due, due to concept of uh, at atomic or sharded uh, smart contract system, it can really uh, work for uh, hundreds of millions of people. If you think about single threaded blockchain uh, or, uh, or one bulk smart contract, it can serve probably, I mean, couple of tens of uh, thousand uh, people. Because if you have uh, even one million uh, users, then it will just start. It will not, uh, let us see, will be extremely huge, or, or that our contract will not be able to process. So we can have a uh, uh, use case which uh, involves hundreds of millions of people, and all those people will have their own smart contracts, and they will uh, process through their own shards or threads, and this will uh, 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 preserve latency of execution, a fraction of blockchain to uh, this user's very low. Uh, so we uh, have now, as far as uh, uh, in, in the activity which I involve, a number of uh, projects which uh, should show that power of that uh, that approach. Because in, in the whole, uh, all, uh, all users in the, uh, of DApps in the world, in all blockchains, they are less than a million. It's a couple of hundreds of thousands, and we can, by one uh, use case, can make it much more. So there is, for example, for example, quite uh, long-lasting uh, development for uh, single uh, backend for all chess in the world, which involves 600 uh, million players within in partnership with World Chess. It's actually part of FIDE for online uh, chess. So this is one of of best examples where we can have uh, millions and tens of millions of uh, users this year. Uh, we have. Uh, fully 100% centralized uh, uh, ticking solution where you don't need any website hosting 
everybody who launch an event for their tickets. And, uh, it should be up and running again in, in uh, June. And, uh, actually, I mean, we have a number of festivals where we, which are waiting for this. I and mean, we have partners who say, like, we'll uh, distribute millions of uh, those tickets uh, just this year as well. So we I actually expect all those uh, use cases uh, to go live and we'll see the traction of all that. It sounds really exciting. So I, de I definitely think our viewers will, will keep an eye out for Bruton in the coming months and see what happens. And hopefully we'll see you here next year and you can give us an update on your, your progress as well. But best of luck for the future. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for your time was. Thank you. That's all from us here. But we'd love to hear how you found this interview. So share your thoughts with us in the comments below.